Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a DIY 90 style beret. These are the materials that you're going to need. I'll be sure to put a list of them in the description. Now the very first thing you want to do is measure and cut out the pieces that you'll be sewing together to create your beret. This is actually going to be the outside of the beret. And all I'm doing is taking my ruler and my fabric chalk to measure out 12 inches on the sides and also the top and bottom. Now you can of course use a tape measure and a fabric marker if that's what you have, but essentially I'm connecting the points to create a circle. Does not have to be a perfect circle, but obviously the more perfect, the better. As you can see, I'm using my fabric chalk to get my circle as round as possible, as round and as perfect as possible. Once you have your circle complete, you can actually cut it out. As you can see, I'm working very closely to the edge of the fabric, trying to waste as little material as possible. Once you have your circle cut out, you should be ready with three other pieces of fabric, two for the lining and another for the outside of the beret. This should make it easier for you to cut around the circle and end up with four identical pieces. Now what you want to do is take one piece of each style of fabric that you have one for the outside, one for the lining, and cut out a three inch circle in the middle. This will end up being the hole for your head. You should end up with two pieces that look just like this. The next thing you're going to do is sew your two outside pieces together with a zigzag stitch around the outside. You'll repeat this same step with the lining. One step you guys did not see me take on camera was ironing your pieces. That's also a very important step, especially if your material is as wrinkled as mine. Now, once you've sewn your two outside pieces together and also your two lining pieces together, you're gonna take the two raw edges of both of those pieces and sew them together right sides kissing. Don't forget to leave one inch so that you can flip the beret right side out. Once you have the raw edges pinned together right sides kissing, this is what it should look like, almost like a basket. Now, after you've sewn it all the way around, you get to flip your beret right side out and you'll close the hole with a top stitch. And now you see you have your almost finished product. Now to give it that early 90s flair, I used the rhinestones. You don't have to, of course, but fortunately I had these laying around in an arts and crafts drawer and I was able to separate out a few colors that I thought went really well with the material that I chose. I chose my placement ahead of time and used my E6000 glue to glue down each individual rhinestone. And there you have it, our first DIY of the channel. I hope you guys like this video. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. And if you post any DIY berets, please tag us. I'd be happy to share your photos in our next video. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.